Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? HTG Doug here, continuing our Disney Infinity Incredibles playset playthrough. This is part eight, and uh, we'll get some new equipment, do some more missions, get some more trophies, you know, do a bunch of cool stuff. So we're right here where we left off, of course, as we always are. And I'm going to activate a couple of different missions here. Just because, you know, I like to have them activated for some reason. Just kind of like one of, my, one of my little quirks. But anyway, um, so I have done some more of the challenges in the coming videos. And I have to say they are quite difficult. Like, I, I, some of them took me 10, 15 tries before I beat them. Uh, but yeah, pretty crazy. But anyway, if you go over to the little toy box symbol, there is a superhero that you probably recruited from the last mission or so. Uh, I would suggest you recruit him because he actually helps you fight them and it makes the missions a little easier. Can't really hurt you anyway. Alright, so we'll walk up to uh, Edna and we'll activate her mission. And we have to go get him. And I don't think I actually do. I think I just activated it again. I think that seemed like a really, really long way to walk and I was like, meh. Don't really, really, don't really feel like doing that right now, so I skipped it. But uh, I am going to do the glide pack mission, which is because I actually already did it. I already bought the glide pack and everything, so that mission's automatic completed. So we just get some coins and some sparks. But that's not too bad. We don't have to do too much work. Alright, so we'll activate her next mission. And uh, she wants us to build the research station, which we are going to do right now, as soon as it gives me the option to get out of this little box thing. There we go. Alright, so there we go. We're going to access the toy store. And we're going to go down to the bottom right one. And we're going to buy that. And then build it on the back right corner. You can put them wherever you like. I just chose them in this order for whatever reason. Now as soon as it finishes building, the mission will complete. And it just takes a couple seconds for it to finally go through. But uh, yeah, uh, how are you guys enjoying this game? Or have you completed it a long time ago? And you know, you're just watching these for fun? You know... Uh, anything like that, like which was your favorite playset, stuff like that, because um, I don't have the Cars or Toy Story playset, but I do have Lone Ranger, and I'm kind of curious to see what you guys consider the best one. A lot of people I've talked to said the Lone Ranger is the best, but, you know, I'm, I'm just curious. Alright, so the research station is built, so that will complete that mission. And then I'm going to go open that box, I believe, because, you know, you can't get new stuff if that box isn't open yet. But actually, it triggers a mission that we're being attacked by the Omnidroids. So we're going to want to take those out as quickly as possible. Because we don't want them destroying our beautiful headquarters that we've so meticulously set up. And I'm actually going to be smart to open this on the way. So you're not going to actually see the thing open up. So I apologize for that. But it's alright. It's just the orange car that is now driving into the larger Omnidroid. He's trying really hard to help too though. Oh well, that car is now gone. Anyway, okay, so we're just going to destroy everything, and you see the little superhero flying around shooting some, some uh, lasers at everybody. So it is very helpful to recruit him. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. It's still very doable without him, but eh, why not? He helps you destroy stuff and get stuff out of the way for you. And if anything, he's at least a good distraction. And we'll just throw him out of here. Where are we going to throw him? Eh, I tried to throw him into the prison, and it, it didn't go very far. <laughs> but oh well, we tried. I, tr I tried to be slick about it. Alright, so we got a new toy, the ambulance. And we got 300 coins and some sparks. 100 to be exact. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Alright, so we're going to go into the toy store. And first of all, we're going to buy the ambulance. Because, you know, I like to buy my toys as soon as I get them. Big toy collector. Actually, I'm not really not much of a toy collector. Except for Disney stuff. When it comes to Disney stuff, I have a lot of collectibles from Disney. But I like to collect certain things, and it, the, the my fascination with collectibles kind of varies depending on what I feel like collecting at the moment, <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever. But yeah, there's a couple different things that I collect just for fun. Alright, so now we have the research um, station built. We can go and grab a few of these green toy capsules. We get some new packs, building packs, character packs, you know, all that kind of stuff, which I still have not messed with yet. But it seems I cannot get the ones up top. And no matter what I tried, like, I could not get it to work. So I'm going to put on the Frozen accent, though, because there is a trophy for customizing six buildings. As far as I know, there are only four in Incredible, so we'll have to do that in the next playset. But I figured, why not get that out of the way now? That way I don't forget about it later and drive myself crazy trying to figure out how I didn't get the trophy. 
All right, so yeah, I'm gonna give a little bit of a try to this because I really want to get those, but no matter what I tried, it didn't seem to be working. And I'm actually gonna try to drive the car in there to see if that'll do anything, and it doesn't. It scans it, but it doesn't. It says no, sorry. And it tells me to go away. Well, it doesn't actually tell me to go away, but you get my point. So yeah, I'm I'm just I'm I really want those toys <laughs> those toy capsule packs, and uh, it is not working. Uh, so I'm yeah I'm checking out to see what else there is and see if I have the right car and I actually do because I wasn't sure if maybe I can only get his car in there, but uh, but no it's I'm gonna try again I don't know why I just tried it but I'm gonna try again, wishful thinking yes. And yeah that's not gonna work, so I'm gonna give up on that and we're gonna try something else. Mm, yep okay so we have the crazy collect challenge and that car just went flying by jumping out of it. Uh, all right, so go to the mission log. Let's see what we got. We have lock them up. We have active lifestyle, sprawling sleep pods, and witch witness, which sounds really hard to say if you say it really quickly. But all right. Okay, so we're going to go over to this lady whose name I forgot again. I don't know why I can never remember her name. Uh, driving me nuts. Because she used to be like Syndrome's girlfriend, and then she... Oh, God. I should probably just look it up before I do the next video, and I always forget to. I'm surprised no one's told me what her name is yet. But so yeah, somebody tell me in the comments what her name is, because that would be very helpful, because I can never remember. Alright, so the next mission is we have to take this little uh, um, science guy. I forget what, is, what they actually call him. But we have to take him and throw him into that research station so we can build some new stuff. And uh, I actually make a mistake here. Um, I, I didn't realize that you can just you know get a car and then put him and get in the car and he'll like get in with you so I, I apologize for that and actually you'll see me you'll see me go up top with him in my hands but when I get to the top he's mysteriously gone and I'm looking around I'm like what wh where did he go like he's disappeared so I have to go back down and get him now because I was gonna glide across the thing and you know but apparently that does not work because he is just I don't know all right so we're gonna try again and now that I can't go up there I'm gonna have to walk all the way around so I do apologize for that um, it, it just, I don't know. I don't know where he went. Like, he was definitely in the elevator with me when we went up. And we got to the top, and he was just not there. So, okay. Kind of weird. I, I should have took the car, and I didn't. So, we're going we're gonna to see the wonderful, beautiful Metroville uh, scenery, I guess you want to call it. And, yeah, I don't know why I put him down there. I guess he was getting, I was getting tired of carrying him. I don't know. Anyway. At this point, I don't have the hoverboard yet either, so I can't even do anything about that. Or I can't even get on that, I should say. Or do I have the hoverboard? Maybe that's soon. I know I get the hoverboard. It's probably very soon. I probably just don't have it yet. Uh, yeah. I probably I probably get it like at the end of this video. Alright. So, we're going to finally get all the way over here. And as soon as we turn this corner, you're going to see it. There it is. So, we just have to throw him in there when we get close. And then, yeah, see, throw him in there, and it'll activate, and then we'll let wait for him to build that, and we'll just defend the area like always. Alright, it's pretty simple as usual. You know, you just kind of fight the ones that you see, clear out a direction first, and move on to the next side, and so on and so forth. Uh, the super is very effective if you can get them all in a line, and you can get it to hit, and you hit them in the right order, or right line, whatever you want to call it. All right, and uh, if you have the super here, the little super minion or whatever his name is equipped, he will help you out again, of course, which is very helpful because he, at least at the very least, least at the very least, wow, he at least um, distracts them so that you can come over and hit them. And there we go, I got a really nice line of them, but somehow that last one did not get hit, and at that time I just missed. Ooh, ooh, I'm just getting owned. All right finally cleared out the sixth of them and then we're gonna get another spawn of them here in a second i believe there they are we got another three and then another three should pop up on the right yep and uh, i'm not gonna use my super because i'm too close and that camera's not in the right angle for it and uh i think i use it here maybe mm, nope i just jump slam gotta love that jump slam if you're in a bind it's definitely the greatest thing to do and it's actually gonna be very useful in one of the challenges coming up that i died on a lot it took me a very long time to get a nice path to going again to, to you know to work everything out but you'll see that later 
I haven't decided if I'm going to leave in all my failed attempts or not yet. Uh, I failed a lot. <laughs> I think a whole entire, like, video was just me failing at the challenge. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to leave it in. If you guys want to see it, let me know. If not, I'll just I'll end up cutting out. Like, I'll probably leave one or two of them in just to see what I did so I can show you what I did wrong. And then I'll, uh, I'll just edit out the rest of them because it, it was pretty bad. <laughs> there was a lot of failing. All right, so we got a, I got a nice line of supers there. Of course, the last one did not get hit. I was very upset about that. And then, of course, I was too far away, so I missed again. But anyway, that's done. So it should be done here in a second as soon as I destroy this guy here. Only seconds left. Oh, no, there's one guy left. Oh, and he hit me. And you know what? I said, forget the guy out there. I'll just kill the guy shooting rockets at me. But that's going to do it for that, so pretty simple. I mean, the minion definitely helps. Um, I definitely suggest having him there, or if you're not going to have him, definitely hit your supers as adequately as possible because I some of mine were not all that great. <laughs> but we do get a gold star for completing that mission, so that's always good. And now we have to go bring back the data core from one of the Omnidroid spawners, which is actually like on the way back to the secret headquarters anyway, so it's not a big deal. But we did unlock the hoverboard. We still have to buy it, but we did unlock it, so that's good. And it's actually kind of fun, I must say. Uh, I'm a little upset that it cannot go over buildings. Like, you can't walk up, or you can't glide up buildings, whatever you want to call it. Um, and if you, if you can, I have not figured out how yet. But I was a little upset that you couldn't do that. But I am going to buy it because I really want the hover pack. Because, or hoverboard, I'm sorry, not hover pack. And once we get over there, we will activate that. But first, we're going to do that Omnidroid spawner mission. Alright, so first we're going to equip... Oh, I was looking for the hoverboard and I realized I didn't actually buy it yet. Or I didn't actually open it yet, so I don't actually have it. So I can't mess with it yet. But I'll, I'll mess with it a little bit at the end of this video. Alright, so there is the Omnidroid spawner. And then we get these little uh, guys that you have to uppercut to... Um, to melee melee through whatever bust through their attacks but I, it's very confusing because it, it clearly says to burst through his block but then like when you go and try to hit him like he blocks it again so i'm confused if i'm doing something wrong or if it, i don't know because every time i use the uppercut like it doesn't let me hit him but anyway so all you have to do is just bust open that uh, little omnidroid spawner top thing and then the thing will be there. But I wanted to clear out some of the guys here first. Just so I don't have to get hit like that. Because I'm not sure if I can fight with... Um, and I, you can't throw the data core at him either. I learned that out. I learned that out. Wow, I'm just doing great today. Alright. Anyway, so now that we cleared out the three guys over here. We're going to pick that up and start running back. And remember, you can get in a car. You can spawn Mr. Incredible Sports Car and just drive over. Uh, I did not know that. I figured that out in like the next video maybe or the one after something like that i figured it out very shortly uh but i apologize for making you guys watch me walk all the way back and forth yeah mr incredible is definitely getting his exercise today all right so we'll just jump along uh, i'm trying i figured out that you can actually aim when you're trying to throw stuff i did not know that for the longest time like i literally just figured it out and i was going to try to throw it over the building then i pressed the wrong button so I had to go pick it up again. And, uh, yeah. It's... I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of silly. Like, I don't press a lot of buttons when I play games. Like, I, I do, but I don't at the same time. So, uh, I can play through a lot of games sometimes without even without even noticing. Uh, but anyway. So, we finally get the data core back. And we'll have to take it to the headquarters research building. And uh, it'll scan it, and it'll say it's good. And then the mission will be complete. So, then another one down. We get some more coins and some more sparks. And the sky has fallen. Uh, which, oh, what movie was that from? Was that from Chicken Little? Oh, that's going to drive me nuts. Oh, that's really going to drive me nuts. I know that's from a movie. I, from a Disney movie, anyway. Alright, so now we have the hoverboard, so you can just glide around. It's a lot of fun. You can jump with it. It's actually how you get some of the, uh, capsules that are above the water. At least, that's the way I think you get them. That's the way I got them, anyway. And we get the trophy for a power pack, which is for buying two gadgets, I believe. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to equip it to the left. I'm going to equip the hoverboard to the left and the glide pack to the right. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just I started using the glide pack to the right and I felt more comfortable. But, I mean, you could do it whichever side you want, of course. 
All right, so that's going to do it for this mission. I'm just going to glide over to that girl whose name I never, ever know and probably will never, ever know. And uh, that's going to do it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, come back next video. We'll probably do a couple challenges. We'll do some more missions, stuff like that. You'll see me horribly fail at some things. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So be sure to check and come, come and check that out. But in the meantime, be sure to follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, like and subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Google+, Twitch, Instagram. Uh, we have a contest going on on Instagram, so be sure to check that out as well. And uh, I think that's it. So, yeah. See ya.